It's about 7.30 a.m. here in Puerto Citos. We found a great little camping spot next to the cabanas, next to the water. This is about 40 minutes south of San Felipe. I'm gonna hop on the bike and give you guys a quick little tour on what's in the area. There's not too much, but there is hot springs right by the water, which was kind of crazy to me. When I think Mexico, I don't think hot springs. Let's roll. There's a bunch of these little cabanas right by the water. It's low tide currently, but the water comes up to that little boat during high tide. Highway 5, running north and south, is just right up there. Let's see a few cars going by. Let's roll up to the hot springs. I'm pretty sure all of this is just private residence. Las Aguas Termales de Puertacitos Ralejatas Medicales Curativas Una bendición de días para usted Here we are. There's actually steam coming off of them today. Oh wow. Whew. That is hot. Yeah, this tub is super hot. So we got one, two, three tubs. You can see some people down at the bottom one. Curious to see what that is. Let's roll up there really quick before we check out more of the campground. <laughs> Not really sure what that is. A little mini temple or something. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Quick question for you guys if you don't mind. I'm making my way back to the campground. So I was chatting with that couple from Tucson, Arizona, and they own a piece of property here. So this whole backside is gated off right at the start of the campground and they close the gate at 10. And someone watches this area overnight. But these are all private residents. Got some bikers. So you can see there's a there's a bunch of little cabanas, places to camp. That's the guy that watches the, the site. The couple was saying on the weekend this place really fills up. Puertecitos restaurant. I might as well show you guys the bathroom facilities since we're here. The bathrooms and showers are just a short walk from the campsite, which is just right over here. Here's the bathroom. Showers on the other side. No running water yet in the showers, so they got buckets of water available. Just a heads up. Currently, there is no cell service, no Wi-Fi out here. Maybe in the future, who knows? Well, I do believe the, the uh, supermarket up the street has Wi-Fi. And I got plenty of food. I believe they are open daily. The bar was unfortunately closed yesterday, but th that should be open on the weekends, I believe, when it, when it gets really busy out here. Well, we're gonna get rolling. I'll catch you guys in the next one.